Hey guys! Today I have a bunch of random plant chores I need to get done. There's actually kind of a lot of them. And usually I keep up on it, so today's a little bit abnormal. Anyway, it's been a while since I've done one of these, so I thought I would bring you along for the day and let's get started. First thing on the docket, is that what it is? I have this bathtub full of plants right now because I was watching um, Heart Shaped Leaves video about the pests that she found on her plants and it inspired me to do a preventative maintenance treatment for <laughs> my greenhouse tent plants. So they've been sitting in here for a couple of days now. I've treated them three times. Truthfully, I haven't really found any bugs on my um, plants, like in my greenhouse tent since I released uh, minute pirate bugs and ladybugs into there. But, you know, <laughs> I've been a little bit not on top of cleaning my plants, so I thought this was a great time to do this. And I do like to use Captain Jack's oil extract and diatomaceous earth for my preventative maintenance on them. But let me just say, you guys, with these products, these ones right here, for these three products, they are more of a preventative type thing. You guys know I mix this into my soil just as a little extra printed measure. And people are always asking, what, how does that do anything if you're watering your plants and the soil is wet? Because this only works if it's dry, but I let my plants dry between waterings for the most part. So mixing it in the soil actually works quite well for me. But if you're someone that doesn't let your plants dry out in between the waterings, then obviously that's not going to work, but you can also spray it on the plant or whatever. And then you spray this on your plant leaves. I also water with this stuff and then once the once it dries if the bugs like eat the plant or something that's coated in this it'll um, like not allow the bug to absorb nutrients from food so that's how it kills them. It like won't let them grow anymore and then of course they end up starving and die so yeah I mean it's not like a spray it and you're done kind of a thing. It's something that takes time and should be reapplied like several times throughout the year but it is a great preventative Measure. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Anyway, but yeah, here are the plants in here. There's a mammy eye with some ugly leaves I need to cut off, but I feel pretty good with how many times they've been sprayed down. So I'm gonna go ahead and move them back into the greenhouse tent. And now I'm realizing it's called a grow tent. <laughs> I'm making it all complicated. Here's the grow tent. Um, it does look a bit different because it's a little bit emptier. We have been moving things into bins because we are actually moving to a location, which is kind of wild, but I'll get into that in later videos, of course. So we've just been working hard to get this organized and make it easier to move all of the plants down here because there's a lot. Anyway, let's bring some plants in. You, Yeah, look at how gross these leaves are on the mammy eye. Ew, so I'm just gonna pull her off. Where's my scissors? Where are they? Right here. Might as well. I should have done this before I treated them. Um, it's smart to cut them before you treat them just because then there's like less plant to treat. <laughs> but you know, I wasn't thinking. So now it's just a little one leaf wonder. Cute. Okay, and I'm just gonna show you this. This is a little bit embarrassing, but, um, well not embarrassing, okay, it happens. But this is what thrift damage looks like on an alocasia. Just these spots. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all these leaves. This was from before I released the beneficial like insects into here. And I feel confident that they're gone now. So I'm gonna go ahead and reintroduce this in here. I've been treating them pretty well for the last little while with the bugs and then also with neem and the diatomaceous earth and Captain Jack's. So yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like. Not cute, not cute, but it happens. So. Again, I'm gonna cut the leaves. Again, it's something I should have done before I treated the plant, but you know what? You live and you learn. So now we're with, we're stuck with this little nub, not even a one leaf wonder. It will grow back. It's fine, it'll come back. Check out these aerial roots. <laughs> They're wild. Whew. Those are all the plants, let's go outside. I guess here's a little overview of the tent right now. Again, it's changing rapidly because we are moving so much around and I do have more shelves to put like over here and then also on this side with some more of these grow lights. Where we're moving, I'm not really wanting to put in the effort since I'm gonna to have to set them up in the new space anyway. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is a Burl Marks philodendron and those are aerial roots. It's a wild guy. 
But yeah, grow tent, yay. Yay, I love it in here. Where are you going? Good, how are you doing, Jay? Almost. Ryan's gonna help me move the lettuce grow tower outside. I didn't realize I married a Nancy. Bro, I'm <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> I can't carry it always though. Oh, these actually aren't as heavy. That big one was really heavy. Yeah, these ones are dry out Yeah. Okay, and then I wanna put the lettuce tower over here. Okay, so we're growing veggies in the yard this year because now we have a yard. Oh, come here, dummy. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen the grow tower. Oh, there it is. Speak of the devil. <laughs> so it has like four layers so we can put, we can plant, is it 24 plants? I think it's 24. Yeah, 24. Um, 24 little veggies in it. And we just got the veggie, like the sprouts in the mail. So I'm gonna move it outside. Although Ryan, we need to take off the lights because I used to have it inside. You can do it inside or outside, but now that it's summer, I'm gonna have it outside. Do you remember how to, this goes? Yeah, I was, yeah. Well, oh, you mean the inside stuff? Yeah. Look them. Ew. All of them. Ew. All four of them. Really? Yeah, why? That's gross. Wait, this doesn't fit. You didn't put that in the center last time. What? Are you talking about the dog? No, that's not it. This pole I found isn't it. Uh, yeah, I think that's just from the garage. It is, but it's the only one I could find. Found it. <laughs> I want to move it more out here, though. Wait, there's a piece that that has to court, like go through. So this thing. This is how far you can move it away. Okay. Okay. Yay. Ooh. Looks good. Yeah. Wait, why does this not go? Oh, that's probably accounting for all the lights. The lights don't have to go on it though. Yeah, you probably have to cut the tube down then. This thickness yeah, times but, four. Yeah, but they don't all, I got that before I got these and you don't have to use this with this. I know, you just have to cut the pipe down. Bro. It doesn't say you have to do that. Oh yeah, you have the instructions out? No, but I remember when I was looking it didn't say to cut the thing down. It's okay. I don't want to have to wait. About. To cut it down. I'm gonna go get my pipe cutter and cut it right now. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> you know this? No. You only get one shot at it, so. That's okay. I'm nervous. Oh man. That should equal the height of the lights. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> I feel better already. Finally, for like, if you're gonna grow plants, especially vegetables in hydro, you do need to figure out the water pH and make sure it's at a good level for the plants. So this little booklet, I don't know a ton about it. I've only done this a couple of times, but um, this little booklet that comes with the stand has like instructions that I'm gonna be following. So, okay. Now we add four scoops with the other tablespoon scoop of the nutrient B. Dan mixer up.
Okay. Uh. Now they have these little cups that I put the little, you know, seedlings in. Where are they? That I'll put the little, so the seedlings come like this and you put them in these little cups and then just slide them in. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I'm really quick, before we move on, I'm gonna show you everything we have planted here. So down here we have cucumbers. These three are cucumbers. That one kind of broke off at the top. I hope it'll be okay. And then here we have Oregon tomatoes, three of them. Up here we have two little cherry tomatoes. And the rest, the other four on this section are green beans. This whole section is six strawberries. And up here we have two lunchbox peppers, and then the rest are jalapeno peppers. I'm really excited to have some fresh veggies, finally. Okay, and I guess the only, well, there might be another thing I wanna do out here, but I'm gonna do it later, because it's starting to get really hot, but, oh, look, a spider. Come here, look. You're cute, I'm gonna put you on my pepper pepper plant protect it please anyway I have these three tomato plants from my mom and she has a huge backyard garden it's like a quarter acre or something but um, she planted like 40 something tomatoes and she just had these random little scragglers pop up and I asked if I could have some so she gave me three this one's struggling a little because it's the smallest one and it's been brutally hot here lately hey. hi are you still at Lowe's Okay, will you get me some new garden gloves? Yeah, what about those ones in the So, <sighs> I think that's enough soil. I'm just gonna make, put them in the middle, of course, like this. But like kind of dig a hole deeper down, deeper down than this. Um, because I think if you plant it farther down, then it'll form roots out of the bottom of the plant and it's like better off for the plant overall. <sighs> okay, like that. So I just put it a little bit lower in the soil. I also have these cages that I'm just gonna put in now because why not, we're here. Because hopefully they'll grow fast. <laughs> like that. Okay, so here's that closer up of that really sad tomato. I don't know if it's gonna make it, um, but you know what, we're gonna try. Here's the smaller one that's doing okay. And this is the best one by far. So I just have those sitting there. And then over here, we have my bell pepper plant, which has some peppers, a lot of peppers actually. So, yeah, it's doing good. Oh my gosh, look at how cute. There's my bell pepper and my tomatoes. Oh, you can't see the tower. Oh yeah, you can. Wait, can you? Oh, I'm so happy. It's the next day, <laughs> you know how I am with these. You guys that have been around for a while know how I am with these videos. <laughs> it's always a struggle. <laughs> oh, I get doing other things and then I don't finish filming. Um, so I had my Cebu Blue in the shower like a week ago and Ryan moved it into the bathtub and then I kind of forgot about it. So now I'm gonna go put it back. <laughs> the pot's too big to be able to fit a drainage thing. Saucer? Oh, that's the word saucer underneath it. So it just has to sit there. 
without a saucer. So I have to move it to water it, which is kind of annoying, but I really like the way it looks in here. It is worth it. Look at how cute it is. I just recently took a crap ton of cuttings off this puppy, so. Oh, it's so cute. I just got a refill of one of those products. 10 out of 10, I feel everybody should buy, and that's Mosquito Bits. This is like my third bottle of it. And, oh, we're down to the little, just the little crumbs at the bottom. But I do think it's worth buying. And they have these little refill bags. Anyway, the people from the beginning of my channel know this is like, this is a holy grail plant product for me. Okie dokie. Let me just pick up all the little bits that fell on the ground. The, good, the cool thing about this is I still pick up the little pieces off the ground because you know, I want to put them in my plants, not on the ground, but they are mammal safe. So although they will kill um, fungus gnats and like different larvae in the soil, they won't hurt mammals. So yeah, if you have pets, no need to worry. I've been waiting for this to come along. So now let's go sprinkle my plants. A little for you. I do also mix this into soil when I'm going to repot something. If my plants are already potted, then I just like to give them a little fresh, little bit of this at the top of the soil um, every once in a while, a few times a year. And it is that time of year. Oh, you guys, uh, I'm getting sidetracked, but let me show you some new plants. Okay, where should I say? I did order one plant off of stevesleaves.com. Anyway, it is the Syngonium Batik. I do already have one of these that I imported, but I fall in love with individual plants. Like not, like once I have the one plant, that doesn't mean I won't fall in love with other ones of the same plant, you know? And I fell in love with this because look at how cute and long it is. This one was an auction plant on Steve's. I ended up winning and it's so beautiful. I love it. I ordered that, that was the only plant I purchased, but they were so nice. They added a little note and sent me a couple of extra plants. So I'm gonna show you. Where did I put them? Oh yeah. It was incredibly nice of them. They included this Lacunosa snow caps. Let's see if I can show you just how really beautifully freckled, silvery freckled it is. And this is a Hoya I didn't already have in my collection. So that's really exciting. And again, I totally wasn't expecting this at all. Like I just bought a plant. And they also sent a Hoya Glob Hoya globulosa, and look at how freaking big those leaves are. This is one I have, but mine's tiny. Like even, even the two leaves on mine are a lot smaller than this. Um, so it definitely isn't as mature. So this was really cool and nice for them to include. Okay, let's back up so you can get the full length of it. Oh my gosh, it's half as tall as me. It's a big boy, big, big, big boy. But yeah, really, really beautiful. So I'm gonna go put these in the grow tent. Anyway, I don't know why that just, that just popped into my head while I was sprinkling mosquito bits and I had to show you. Oh, and then this one's kind of random. I decided to buy myself a pink princess. Don't ask me why. I just did because I've been feeling down and this, these made me happy. I feel happy. I'm, I'm back on top of the world. You know what I mean? So yeah, really, really pretty one. Anyway, this is the Monstera. I just added mosquito bits to, but look at this perfect giant beauty. Well, this is kind of weird but so beautiful and massive. And then look at this one, a little bit smaller, um, but this is like the perfect leaf if you ask me. So oh, that's cool. I'm all over the place today. I'm just all over the place. Um, so I actually think it's time to go take these planties down into my grow tent. It's not a flattering angle whatsoever, but I want to go, ooh, I haven't washed my face today. <laughs> A whole new world. Here we are. Here's the tent. You guys already saw this once in the video. Ooh, it's extra humid in here today. This one right here. Can you see? That one right there. The like, or actually, maybe you'll be able to see the coloring a little bit better. Let me, let me see if I can show you better because the light's a little bit better. I feel. Oh yeah. You can for sure see better now. Isn't it pretty? Again, it's like, you know, so snow caps. I know I've said that 50 million times, but I just think it's beautiful. Okay, anyway, back to the task at hand, putting, finding spots for these bad boys, which I think, I think earlier in the video, 
it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before actually, I was, I was um, saying that I was like moving plants out of here so it might look a little more empty and that is still the case. I'm just gonna put this back here. But for now, just plants that are part of my personal collection, I'm not really moving because those don't need to go to the shop, you know? So <laughs> why even move those? Okay, is there anything cool I wanna show you? I don't know, like what kind of things do you wanna see in here in my grow tent? Because there are lots of plants and there are lots of stuff in here that I could show. Wow, <gasps> goodbye, goodbye. Oh, I know what I can show you, so. <laughs> you guys haven't seen the terrarium in a while, have you? Okay, so update on it. It had a fan. It was just keeping it way too dry inside of the terrarium. So I was having to constantly water it, but Ryan disconnected the fan and it is now humid, humid. So all the plants are doing awesome. Let's open this up. Actually, the other day I was doing some plant maintenance in here, taking care of some stuff and this lid fell and hit me on the head and I just bawled down here by myself for like an hour. It didn't hurt that bad. I was just already having a bad day and then it hit my head. <laughs> and then, you know, I just could not stop crying. Oh my gosh, no. Oopsie. Just go ahead and pull that off. Ew, that's disgusting. When did that happen? Anyway, new leaf on that. Exciting, especially since that one was like, brown I mean the plants doing fine why did that happen that's weird whatever look at some plants oh this is a, a favorite of mine lately this is a philodendron splendid Ooh, that scared me I thought those were bugs but it's sphagnum moss I've been treating in here a lot so hopefully we get no outbreaks so that was kind of shocking anyway it got a new leaf but yeah okay did I say this is a philodendron splendid it's so golden and beautiful I just ooh, I love it kind of pinkish golden and I do have plans to kind of re reorganize, adjust what I have in here because it's gotten full and I just keep adding more and more. Oh, look, a new oblique leaf, cute. So cute. Syngonium strawberry ice. I mean, the plants are all doing really awesome in here. It's just filling in really, really quickly. Oh, this is a plant I got for my birthday. Um, you did see it in a video, I think, and it is, it is rooted. So it was just a little cutting and it's now rooted. Cute. Yay. Love it. What do you think? Let me know. Did do like a test sell on my website just to make sure everything's going to run smoothly and like figure out shipping and stuff before we start actually selling plants. We only sold about 30 something or 40 something plants, but they need watered, we're going to be shipping in four days and I would like them to be watered, but not like soggy, not like freshly watered. So I'm gonna go ahead and water them really quick. They have been living just on this shelf, this windowsill out here because it gets really good sunlight and this is where we take our photos because we have the, you know, studio lights down here. I don't know if you can see them. No, they're kind of hidden by the door. Move them in here and then, ah, blah, 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 and then water them. Bottom water them in the bathtub, I think. Just put them in the bathtub already. Sit you on the toilet. Since we're here, might as well just put them where they're gonna be watered, right? Oh, I just put Mandrula pothos in there. Now we got some Hoya species of Finis bertoniae, bertoniae, bert. Let's just call it species of Finis bert because who can even pronounce that word? Funny, but today is my and Ryan's anniversary. Oh, Hoya carnosa compacta very very thirsty i mean you can see how thirsty it is because it's like wrinkled like the leaves are textured anyway like i said today's mine and ryan's anniversary and we're not really the kind of people to like celebrate which i don't know it's fine with me like we don't mind not celebrating it i know some people are really big on that kind of a thing but for some reason we're not which is totally okay in fact we're kind of like we kind of wake up and then look at the date or whatever we get going about our day Look at the date and then we're like, oh, we got married today. <laughs> what? Time flies. And then we just go on with our day. And then I say, Ryan, do you like me? And then he says, yeah, are you happy you married me? And then I say, yeah, and then we're good. I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. So I just added like an inch of water at the bottom, an inch, an inch here, two inches on the deep end. I literally caught myself just laying here like this, looking at my plants, taking big sniffs because 
<laughs> Let me know if this is weird or if you relate to this, but I love, like, there's few things, few smells I love more than the smell of, like, wet soil. Mm. There's just... There's just something about it. Does anybody relate to that? Is that weird? And then I was like sitting here just enjoying my time. And I'm like, what am I doing? What? What is making me stay here for so long? And then I realized it's the smell of the wet soil. And watching the plants like soak, soak up the water and the tops of the soil get wet. It's satisfying to me, okay? I'm just going to leave these in here for maybe like an hour. Because they're so small. And let them soak up some water, do their thing, and we'll ship them in a few days. Oh, look at how cute this Manjula pothos is. If you purchased from my store and you bought Manjula pothos B, yeah, B, this is my favorite one actually, and I almost wanted to keep it because I think it's so cute. So cute, this one was node grown. Some of them are just like cuttings, like a few leaf cuttings. Um, that one was nodes, so. One of my favorite plants. I'm wearing my favorite shirt. You guys know I'm Heart Shaped Leaves number one fan. I bought a bunch of Rachel's merch and this is my favorite one. I got it in a few sizes bigger than I normally wear because I wanted it to be big and loose. And when I'm not pregnant, so my stomach pushes it out, I can wear it like a dress. But do you even water, bro? Do you even water, bro? Do you? Do you? Oh my gosh, so we're going back downstairs because I just had a thought. I showed you guys the new Pink Princess I ordered, but um, it was shipped, okay, it wasn't shipped bare root, but it came out of the pot during shipping and um, the roots don't look very happy. I think the seller watered it right before shipping because the roots are like pretty rotten. So I'm going to put it in sphagnum moss inside of a pot. I have the perfect one. I'm so excited to finally be able to use one of these. I bought a bunch of them. I bought like a lot of them for my shop last year, literally a year ago. That's so weird. And it, you know, time just flies. It really flies, especially during a pandemic. It's a little tie-dye blue pot. And I think it'll be really cute because um, it's a cover pot. And I like to put rehabs into sphagnum moss into pots with no holes. So that's what we're gonna do. And I think it's gonna be really cute because blue and pink are just cute together, right? I know some of you have stated that you're annoyed that I'm out of breath, but trust me, I'm annoyed that I'm out of breath. This baby, 25 weeks now, and this baby is taking up every single bit of my extra breathing space. Like Kai pushed himself down as far as he could. This baby also does, cause he's like constantly kicking my bladder but he frequently moves clear up here, like as high up as he can, I swear. Freddy chops the rest of my organs out of the way and Russ nestles himself between my lungs, which anatomically, scientifically, whatever. I know that's not actually possible, but that's what it feels like. So I literally like can't catch my breath, which is weird because this didn't happen to me last time. I mean, it kind of happened to me in the beginning, but not as bad as it's happening to me this early this time. Did how I state that make sense? I don't know, yeah, you can see the roots like aren't, okay, they're actually not rotten. They just don't look the best. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna like kind of wrap them around themselves a little, very gently, and then put some sphagnum around them. Just a little bit, because I did already put a little bit at the bottom too. This is gonna be enough. Oh, that was perfect. Wow, I'm getting good at this, you guys. <laughs> This, I guess this pot is a little bit shorter than I would like, but you know, it's gonna work. Oh, and I think it's so cute. What do you think, okay? This plant, like you, I buy, I get a lot of plants and I do get a lot of plants, but you know, some, like they all make me really happy, but every once in a while I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna splurge and get a plant that like I've really been wanting like a really beautiful specimen of. So then I'm like, I get it and it makes me like extra happy because I just decided to go for the one I wanted instead of the like one that maybe would have been smarter <laughs> financially. <laughs> this makes me really happy and especially this planter. You can barely see the tie dye, but I promise it's brighter. It's a little bit more noticeable in real life than it is on camera, but like that looks so cute with the green and the pink of the plant. Oh, that was fun right there. Perfect. And then my little pirate guy from my friend Stacy, Lipsticks and Leaves, can go right next to it. Match made in heaven? <laughs> Opposites attract? <laughs> so I went outside and I started sweeping and 
cleaning up dog poo and stuff. And then I remembered what I wanted to show you randomly. So if you remember, I called Ryan while I was doing the, the little container pots at the beginning of this video, but he did end up getting me gloves and they're cute and they're touch screen. <laughs> And I'm really happy. These look like they're going to fit really well. So yeah, Ryan did end up getting me gloves. Okay, that is all the plant care and stuff I'm going to be doing in this video. I hope, or I hope you learned something from it or it was entertaining or like something to watch, listen to. I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.